Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Shimano S-Fire RC903 road cycling shoes. If you're looking for the top of the line cycling shoes, you don't have to look any further than the Shimano S-Fire RC9 shoes. Not only are these one of the most beautiful shoes on the market, but they leverage Shimano's vast experience for a precise fit and power transfer. These are the third generations of the S-Fire shoes and have subtle improvements and optimized fit over previous generations. You can see packaging wise, it's really simple. You just have the S-Fire branding on here. Nice black and then basic cardboard coloring. We actually have the wide variation. They have women's variation and then they have standard width as well. So you can really find the one that matches your foot size. Basic sizing chart on the back. Uh, that's about it. So we'll open this up and go over specs. Retail price on this is $450, so quite expensive. It has a carbon fiber outsole, one of the stiffest ones in Shimano's lineup. It has dual BOA LI2 dials, which are low profile and offer micro adjustments in both directions, so you can really dial in the fit. You have an anti-twist heel cuff, so it's more integrated with the body of the shoe and prevents it from twisting when you're doing sprints. 360 degree surround upper. And that's what's really unique about these shoes. The upper actually wraps around the sole and gives you this really integrated design that optimizes power transfer. It also has a lightweight microfiber leather upper that's been optimized for a more round toe box. Again, this is the wide variation, so it's a little bit wider than the standard one, but very generous sizing, even in the standard width. In terms of what comes with these shoes, you can see these are the beautiful blue ones and you have that nice color shifting effect with this pearlescent paint. We have the insole attachment. So that's what's really cool about S-Fire. So you can actually adjust the insole in here with these little pads. So if you take this out, bend on your arch, you can actually put in the high arch version. So you can pull this out. And then this will actually adjust it. So if you're someone with a high, high arch, you can actually just swap out this Velcro attachment. So here you can see it has the mid one on there. You can swap it out for the high one and it just increases the height. So a nice adjustment and you don't have to go to a chiropractor or doctor to get a custom insole. You can just adjust them on your own. You also have the safety information here on how to adjust the cleats in multiple languages and a little bow attack. Now let's take a look at the weight of the shoes. The right shoe that comes in at 250 while the left shoe and again these are Euro 44 wide in the men's variation. So this one's slightly heavier at 253. The Shimano S-Fire shoes are Shimano's top of the line shoes and showcase the latest technology and materials. This is the third generation of these shoes, as indicated by the RC903 model name, and it's more of an incremental update rather than an evolution. That's why they visually look quite similar to the RC902 and even the RC901. What they've done is they've really listened to rider feedback and improved the fit by changing the upper material a bit for a more rounded toe box, as well as changing the wire cable routing for this crossover design and updating the heel cup. So a bunch of small improvements that really make the best shoes just a little bit better. These are offered in four different colors, white, red, blue, and black. Don't let the boring names fool you though. These are really attractive colors. So even though it's just called blue, you can see it has a pearlescent finish. So you have the Shimano blue near the front and then this bright purple in the back depending on how the light hits it. So a beautiful color scheme and even the flatter blue parts have this almost metallic like finish. So a really nice sheen to it. Even the white variation, which is traditionally more of a simple or boring color scheme has a rose color tint to it. So when you color adjust the light, even the white ones have a secondary color. So a beautiful shoe that really stands out. They even have a $475 special edition currently that has a champagne color and the metal Boa dials, which is pretty cool. So we have the classic blue ones here, and I think one of the best color schemes available. As you can see, it really adjusts with the light and pairs well with a lot of different cycling kits. Starting with the closure system, you have a dual BOA LI2 system. Now, Shimano was one of the first 
shoes that really come out with these Li2 dials. But today you can actually find them in a lot of the high-end shoe offerings. It's a low profile design, a little bit different than the IP1 previous dials. You can see just flatter, nice ridges on the edge and provides micro adjustments in both directions. So you can loosen, tighten, and then pull up for a full release. So it's great for making micro adjustments while you're riding. You can tighten it for a sprint and then loosen it if you're doing a longer ride. You can see the lacing pattern is also really interesting. That's one of the big updates here. The top one has this almost slipper-like wraparound strap, and that only controls that. So that'll adjust the ankle fit. And then the bottom dial adjusts the toe box. They've done a new crossover design that's supposed to eliminate some of the pressure points that cyclists have complained about with the previous version. So you can see it's mounted right below and wraps around and then twists up and down. What's cool about these shoes too is you have this one piece upper. So instead of having a big cutout like you have with traditional shoes, it's actually one piece where it wraps around it. So you can see the tongue actually goes all the way in and then wraps under. So when you actually tighten this, you're pulling the upper material together. So it really hugs your feet. There's no ridges here. So you can see very flexible. So unlike shoes of the past, which had structures in here, it's a very seamless design that fits more like a glove. So with the two dials, you can really adjust the fit and dial it in exactly how you want it. The upper material here is also quite attractive. It is a breathable microfiber construction. So you can see very lightweight. Perforations on the front to allow airflow through. Perforated tongue here. So that lets a little bit of air through. And then this interesting ridge pattern as you go to the back. So on the heel cup, it's more integrated than the previous version. So they've really blended it in. And you have these ribs that give it a little bit more contrast. The rear is more purple than the front as it has those metallic flakes in there. And you have the nice S-Fire branding and Shimano on top. If you look at the heel cup too, you can notice it has this raised ridge here and it gets quite narrow in the back. So it really helps hug your feet with extra padding here in the back. You can see very simple design. There's really no seams here. The whole upper material actually wraps around and it's one piece with the seam down the center. So everything's really concealed, which gives it such a unique appearance and improves the performance as everything's really well integrated rather than just having a carbon sole and an upper. Speaking of the sole, even though this is their stiffest carbon sole, you don't really see much carbon fiber. It's only limited to this front piece while the rest of it is concealed underneath the upper material or this rubber coating. So you can see you have a little toe bumper here that's integrated into the design. You have a heel bumper and this is actually replaceable. So there's a bolt here, you can swap it out. Ventilation on the front and rear. So you have a nice mesh on the front and then a little intake or a little exhaust on the back that helps the air come out. These vents are also visible from the inside though. You definitely get the airflow there. This is designed for three bolt cleat, so SBDSL or Lakeo with these little rubber bumpers as well. So you can pull this out and this just prevents the cleats from rattling. So you can move these positions to move it forward or aft. And you have these nice markings here so you can actually adjust the cleats and then make sure you get them at the same point every time. These are a stiffness index of 12, which is 12 out of 12. It's kind of an arbitrary measure, but obviously the stiffest one in Shimano's shoe lineup. The other cool thing about these is obviously the insoles on here. So if we pull it out, as you saw with the unboxing, you can actually swap out the arch support. So it's just Velcro. So you can get a custom like fit without having to go to the doctor and get a custom insole. You can also see the ventilation here on the front and back. And these actually correspond to those vents. So you can see the vent on the heel. The bolt to actually replace it is right there. And then in the front, you can see again, that big vent right off the front that helps air funnel through. And you actually have the exposed carbon fiber. Here. So a pretty nice setup and a high quality insole that matches the high quality price. Now let's take a look at the shoes in the wild. As you can see, the blue finish is really beautiful and natural lighting. The rears fade to a purple, so it gives a very distinct design. And then you have the upper and lower actually connected with that wraparound construction, which is very unique. 
Even if you don't pick the blue color, any color you pick has a nice iridescent finish. You can see we have the wide version, so that toe box is very large and very comfortable, especially if you have wider feet. But even if you pick the standard one, the toe boxes are quite wide. As you can see here, the upper material is nice and flexible and very well ventilated. Overall, really impressed with the performance of these shoes. These are one of our favorite. Even though they're very expensive, they're top tier performance. So when you're pedaling, you get the full power down. It's very stiff without being uncomfortable. So you can pedal for hours. We've done seven, eight hour rides and had no pressure points. And you really forget they're there because they have a low stack height and high stiffness. The upper material is well constructed, so you get airflow through it. And again, no pressure points, especially with the dual dial setup. So a really nice pair of shoes. They're not a major difference from the previous version. We think they're just as good. But with the incremental improvements, they're always getting a little bit better. So if you had issues with the previous one, we definitely recommend trying these out. Now let's compare the RC9 with other shoes on the market. We actually have some other Shimano models here. This is the RC7. So it's the next one down from the RC9, much more affordable at about $250. It has dual BOA dials. They're not the Li2, so you can see a little bit thicker versus the low profile Li2. And they only have one direction, so you can only do micro tightening and you have to do the pull up to loosen it versus the Li2, which gives you micro tightening and loosening. It's also not nearly as flashy, especially in the white finish. It doesn't have that pearlescent finish, which gives it that sparkle. Otherwise, very similar designs though with the wraparound upper. So you can see how they both have that wraparound piece. This crossover lacing, a little bit different between them, but it gives you that dual adjustment. And you can see both have carbon fiber soles with this one being a 10 out of 12 versus this being a 12 out of 12. The big difference with the S5 though is obviously that wraparound design is a lot sleeker. This one is also a wraparound design, but not as integrated. With this one, it really goes around and covers up the sole. You also have the replaceable heel pad on at least the S5 and similar vent locations. But much more affordable, so if you want the performance of the S5, but at a more accessible price point, then the RC7 is a great option. The RC3 is even more affordable. Single BOA dial, and it has a fiberglass nylon reinforced sole. So a little bit more flexible, and that's actually a good thing if you're more of a recreational cyclist or you're doing indoor cycling. It's nice to have a little bit of flexibility as it's a lot more comfortable for longer rides. You can see similar shapes. Shimano does a great job at really trickling down the technology. So the shape of the shoes, the one piece upper, they're both shared with this. It's just a little bit more affordable with a different upper material. When it comes to high-end shoes, the DMT KR0 is probably our second favorite shoe. Nice bright orange color. This is a fully knit upper, so you can see very flexible compared to the Shimano, which is flexible, but not quite as flexible as the DMT. Full carbon sole, and you can see very well ventilated with full vents on the front and back. You can see we have a couple miles on these. And it does show some marks, but really attractive shoe. It doesn't have that fully integrated design. It's more of a outsole attached to an upper versus this really wraparound design of the S Fire. But both great shoes, both have Li2, dual adjustments, and they really hug you and keep you in place even during sprints. Our other favorite shoe is the Bond Cycling Vapor S. This is the reflective finish, so this is actually light up when you hit it with some light. Dual BOA Li2 dials, a similar wraparound design, but you can see a little bit more traditional with a center cutout, but it does give you that wraparound feel with the dual dials. And what's cool about Bont is it's much more anatomical. You can see this is the 44 wide compared to the S Fire 44 wide. And the Bont obviously just looks much bigger and wider. So much more anatomically shaped. Doesn't look as sleek, obviously. You can see from the top, this looks more like a even a bigger size than the S Fire, just because it has more volume. And instead of narrowing down, where this one will narrow down in the middle, the bond stays wide all the way through. But again, dual dials and really nice fit with a carbon moldable sole. So you can just throw this in the oven and get a more custom fit. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the S Fire RC9 shoes. What we like about them is they have a gorgeous finish. Regardless of which color you pick, you have a nice pearlescent design and a very unique color scheme that really stands out. Also, you have dual BOA Li2 dials, which provide nice micro adjustments and also make it really easy to put the shoe on and take it off. 
Also with the S Fire shoes, you also get an integrated design, which means the uppers and lowers are really designed together. So you get full power transfer, you don't lose any watts when you're sprinting. The main negatives of these shoes is the fact that they're very expensive and the fabric bag apparently is no longer included, which was a nice perk from the previous version. Taking everything into account, we'd give the shoes a 9.4 out of 10. These are top tier performing shoes at a top tier price. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.